Welcome to another teardown video. This is just another switch mode power supply. Some switch mode power supplies are just built insanely professional and expensive. This one is mega, mega huge. Look at this in my hands. And it is only 400 watts. That's it. It is built like a tank. Thick and solid. So it is a plug-in module. For servers. Everything here looks like it's really, really well made. There is an error. Somebody wrote here that it is it's defect. So that is why we're going to see what is inside. Look at the really, really nice gold plated end connectors. They will handle a lot of current. So let's get in and have a look. Okay, so I took out all the screws that I could find from all the way around. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Amazing build quality. Really, really thick. When I grab this and oh, it is not flimsy at all. Wow. Why don't you just get out? Look at that. Wow. This one I think I'm going to keep. Let's try and see if this works. Wow, that is the minimum load resistors. And they're bridging a little sense signal. Why wouldn't you just bridge the power stuff? with your little sense signals instead of doing it the opposite way that is like stupid <laughs> you need to sort out your priorities man okay so we got some wires here we can just free those okay they're glued they're not glued good enough I think we need to unscrew everything here and then we can get a little bit more in. So I took out all the screws that I could find. It's really not easy to access the screws down here. <laughs> and how convenient a mains connector with a filter. This is exactly what I needed from my other project. So thank you for free. Lovely, lovely. Okay. What have we got? We are out. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, look at the hits. Heat sinks really thick and good quality. No expense saved. I think I'm gonna save these with threads and everything ready for some prototype. There's nothing much to say about this. This looks exactly like the internals from a normal PC power supply. But everything here is a little bit bigger and a little bit better and a little bit more nice. So here's a little controller thingy. Yeah, okay. This looks like the PFC. And look at all those inductors. And what is what is in there? Some more. Oh yeah, okay. I got it. This is where the heck did I put the lid? See, now I got it. 
this for the 3.3 volt and a lot of current normally you make the 3.3 um, out of the 5 volts with another step down and this is exactly what we got in here so this is another little step down for that it is actually really nicely made look at that big capacitor only one not too bad here is the rectifier here we got it the rectifier bridge okay. oh yo we found it yeah let's get some light that is where the kaboom was oh yo yo this is really oh crusty it is completely blown up. Oh, this uh, the NCC in here is completely evaporated. Look at the hole. It some something took a bite, so there was a spark over. Yeah, this is definitely kaput. So that is where it was. And we're not going to repair this sucker. Everything here is going straight to the bin. But I want those sexy heat sinks for my little stash of goodies. Maybe we should go in here and have a look. All right, we are in. So the metal plate here was connecting everything together. So here we have a big power diode rectifying everything. And so those two, they are probably the low voltage step downs. Oh, why won't you just get out? Yeah, come no man. Yeah, I told you. Double diode, big nasty, and those really nice modules. So they really built this thing like a tank. It is heavy, but I want those heat sinks and I want them now. I want to be done with this. So it's going to be the hard way. This is my way today. Just get the damn thing out, all right? So, that is how I can be when I am in my really, really fast and dirty mode. It will be something like that. Come on, get out. Oh, maybe I want to keep those solder thingies. Yeah, I don't know. Normally you just put those on some proto boards or some proto things. Just to cool stuff enough for my experiments. Ah, not so easy to get access to this screw. But I'm telling you, it's going to be today. And it's gonna be <coughs> see easy access easy easy oh those are not on the other side damn it <laughs> it's not easy today is it nothing is easy I will win Let's going to happen can you see quite easy always easy just unscrew things thank you finally it was convinced to give in and now we're in but look 
what the, what the problem was. It actually blew a spark to the heatsink. There's a big, big hole. See, it ate a chunk of the heatsink, and because the heatsink is grounded. High currents can flow, right? Oh yeah, it really ate quite a bite. So, but that is a nice little heatsink, just screwing some stuff and then, yeah.